Hello everybody, my name is Rolak, and welcome to something a bit different. It's Hallowed's End in World of Warcraft. Lore-wise, it's the time of celebration for the Forsaken separation from the Deadly Scourge, but in other words, it's Halloween in Warcraft. Along with the other world events throughout the year, Hallow's End features several achievements to obtain, some of which are a part of the meta achievement which will award with a title. Today, I'd like to help you obtain these achievements in a very simple guide. No, this will be from the Horde's perspective. There aren't too many differences for both sides, so I'll go over them in detail so that no one gets confused. So without any further delay, let's get started. The first and practically easiest one to obtain first is Trick or Treat. Scattered across nearly every inn, there are Trick or Treat baskets containing goodies. Simply right click them and click Complete Quest to obtain not only the achievement, but also a handful of treats. These handfuls can contain a few different things, which are as follows. The first and most common item is the Tricky Treat. You always get about 2-3 to three pieces of this item. They are also the currency for this event. You also receive some random candies, these don't serve a purpose and are just for fun, toothpicks, which will come in handy for later, cosmetic masks of each race, both male and female versions, several different types of wands, and the two rarest items you can obtain in these handfuls are a battle pet and a transmog item. I'll go over these items later in the video. The next achievement to obtain is also quite simple, out with it. To get this one, simply eat about 3 trick or treats to get sick and hurl. You'll get the achievement, as well as a sick debuff, but nothing too harmful. While you're doing some of these tasks, you may hear a rather loud individual spouting threatening rhymes. This is the famous Headless Horseman, and he is a part of two achievements. To get the first one, all you have to do is wait around in some towns. I'll put up where exactly for clarity. Eventually, the shade of the horseman will start to attack the town, setting it ablaze. All you have to do is help put them out. This goes immensely quicker if there are other players around, and you don't even have to be in a group. Once enough of the fires are put out, the shade will come down to engage. This is a really easy fight, so don't worry about doing this solo if that somehow happens. Once he's down, you get the achievement, the Savior of Hollow's End. Oddly enough, you might not even have to engage the shade itself, as I got the achievement just by randomly walking past Brill. I didn't even get into combat, and I still got it. The next achievement is quite simple as well. All you have to do is queue for the Headless Horseman event via Dungeon Finder. Once you're loaded in, you'll end up in the Scarlet Monastery, and after a quick RP session, the Horseman will appear and the fight begins. Again, a fairly simple fight. To beat him, all you have to do is reduce his health down enough so that his head will pop off. Once it is, go whack it for a while. It'll go back to the Horseman eventually, and you have to repeat this three times to beat him. A new phase starts every time his head pops off. For the first phase, he'll mostly send out pumpkins to damage you. They're easy to avoid. The second phase consists of him using a cone attack and disorienting random players. The third phase may get a bit tricky, as he mostly spawns a bunch of squashing enemies to help him out. Simply use some AoE to get the job done quickly and he'll be down in no time. Once he's down, you'll get the achievement, bring me the head of... oh, wait. Before we go into the next achievement, I want to address this little guy here. This fellow will sell you some items that you can obtain from trick-or-treating as well as some other goodies such as costumes. You can use this guy if you somehow don't get what you need, but you should be getting these items from Trick or Treating, no problem. Anyway, the next achievement is super simple. Just use the toothpick item I mentioned earlier, and you'll get the That Sparkling Smile achievement, as well as a shiny look for your teeth. Nice. The next achievement requires you to do four quests pertaining to the event. The first of these quests involve you contributing to burning the Wicker Man and spreading its ashes across your face for an ex experience and rep boost. The next quest involves you heading to the opposing faction's Wicker Man and dousing its flames. You shouldn't have to get too close, so don't worry about drawing aggro from the guards. The next quest requires you to help out your city, either Undercity for the Horde or Stormwind for the Alliance, of clearing stink bombs left by the opposing faction. Simply look out for orange clouds and use your quest item to clear them. And yes, you can get hit with them and start to smell horrible. But you can get payback with the next quest. Simply talk to either one of these NPCs to get started and you'll soon be warped to the opposing faction city. Start a stink bomb run. This one is super simple as well. Simply throw the bombs wherever you want to and click the other action button to return. Once you're done in all these quests, simply hand them in and you'll get the Rotten Hollow achievement. The next one is quite simple as well and also requires the use of the nerds item. I don't know what it stands for, so don't bother asking. To get this achievement, all you have to do is get 10 honorable kills while under the effects of this item. The easiest way to do so is to simply queue up for a battleground and just start fighting. If you want the easiest way, simply queue up for the Terran Mill versus South Shore Brawl that's going on for the weekend. Once you get your 10 kills, you'll get the achievement Nerd Rage. 
This next one can be kind of tricky to get, but not too hard. You'll need the weighted jack o' lantern item. You can get these items from quests or from looting the Headless Horseman. You'll need specifically 12 of them, and you need to use this item against all the different races. Now, there are a few exceptions. You can't use this item against those who already have one on their head, or if they're under the effects of a wand costume. And Pandarans or the allied races don't count. Once you get them all, you'll get the check your head achievement. This next one will require another player. Either you ask your guildies or simply start up a group finder to find those also needing the achievement. For this one, you need to be transformed by 8 specific transformation wands. The ones you need are as follows. Bat, Leopard Gnome, Pirate, Wisp, Ghost, Ninja, and Skeleton. A quick note, you can obtain these wands by trick-or-treating, or you can purchase them for 2 trick-or-treats from the wand sellers. Once you've been transformed by all of them, you'll get the Masquerade achievement. Now, this next one will mostly take the most time out of any of them. For this next achievement, you need to visit all candy buckets in every inn located in Kalimdor, the Eastern Kingdoms, and Outland. I'll put a map showing where each of them are as well as put links to the maps in the description below for your own leisure. This could be especially difficult for those who can't fly or don't have access to Outland yet, so you may have to wait until you're level 60 to do this one. Eventually, you'll get the ball and you'll be rewarded with the Tricks and Treats of Azeroth achievement. The next and final one can be easy, time consuming, or just pure luck. To get this achievement, you need to obtain two of the rare items that you can obtain through trick or treating, and that is the Squashling Battle Pet and the Hollowed Helm Transmog item. Both of these items can be bought for 150 trick or treats from different vendors, dropped by the horsemen, or they can be obtained by luckily getting them from trick or treating. The drop rate is low, but luckily I got them both through trick or treating, so I didn't have to spend a single candy. Once you add both to your collections tab, you'll get the Sinister Calling achievement. And there you go, you have obtained the Hollow title. Now, there are a few more achievements for this event, but it's mostly for extra points or completionists. There are also a few other things that you can obtain during this event, such as the Horseman's Steed as a mount, his one-handed sword, some rings, and his helmet for plate users are all the things that can drop from the loot-filled pumpkin you get for killing him. These items have some low drop rates though. The mount has a whopping 0.5% drop rate, and people are still trying to get it to this day. You can also obtain an event only mount, which is a broomstick. This is an instant cast mount, and you can even mount it while falling, so it's quite handy. So yeah, that's all you have to do for the Hollowed Be Thy Name achievement. Some of them are quite simple, some of them can take some time, but eventually you'll get them done in no time. The event does last until, I believe, the end of October, so you really shouldn't be taking too that, that long to get all these achievements. So, with that, thank you for watching. My name is Rolak. And have a happy Halloween, everyone.